What's up guys? Today we'll look at the on-chain data supporting or contradicting the current price action. You will make your conclusions in the end. But first of all, of course, let's look at the price, what is happening. I must say that we broke to the upside from this sideways channel. Here it was something like 50-50 up or down. I was more bearish at, the, at this point, but this sudden move, which actually looks like a short squeeze, but in any case, there was this sudden move to the upside and now we are consolidating around $7,500. Well, some people might draw you something like a bull flag and then the next target will be around $8,000 or higher. I wouldn't be that optimistic. We just uh, make the rise above the previous high, which is good. But at the same time, it is often the situation when uh, at this point uh, there is a reversal of the trend, which is like a bull trap or a bear trap if it is the other way around. But technically we are still in pretty much the same situation in terms of the channel, rising channel which we drew before. The price is just exactly at the middle line uh, which, it, which happened actually several times during the recent weeks. And yeah, we need to go higher in order to show the bullishness of the trend. Otherwise we are about to test the bottom of this channel once again. The interesting thing though is that uh, the current price action looks very organic, so pretty much the same as it happened uh, before when we saw the rise from $7,000 to $10,000. Every time price had a very small corrections and the lowest points of those corrections were at the resistance of the previous highs. So something like we see right now as well. You see here it was the first area, we moved to the next uh, kind of a sideways uh, price action channel and then the lowest point of the correction from this uh, from this channel was at the resistance area of the previous block and after price uh, rose above this uh, channel we actually had the lowest point again during the correction within this channel at the point of the resistance so resistance became support over and over again it looks very organic but at the same time we know that what might happen after such organic growth, such a growth without major corrections. This might happen. So I would be still very cautious about it, but uh, technically still uh, price looks pretty bullish. And all the bearishness which you can hear from my side is just my personal opinion and like my gut's feeling, if you will. So now, now let's look at some of the other technical parameters which we need to cover. This is the daily chart with the parabolic SAR indicator and recently we had this buy signal again after the price tested the line of resistance and which actually became line of support. So in fact uh, you can say that for example this buy signal was not very great and this sell signal was not very great so this indicator is not so profitable if you'll trade it blindly but at the same time I would say that this was the major uh, trend to the downside this is the rising trend right and during the downtrend uh, the sell signals are more profitable the buy signals are less profitable and other way the other way around during the rising trend this was very very nice buy signal and this was not that great sell signal so if this trend continues to be a bull trend to a rising trend then it would be a nice uh, buy signal in any in any case it will, gives you the nice stop order area around 70 uh, 6500 dollars uh, the next point is that uh, on the weekly time frame there is a uh, bullish divergence already a second one uh, among many indicators here i show a money flow index macd and fisher transform you see the lows on the price are going down the lows on the indicator are going up and again it happens already second time first time we saw this major rise from seven thousand to ten thousand dollars here we already have like two two, two x like hundred percent of the price from the lowest point of the drop so uh, it might be actually that this is already good enough to this divergence played out but in any case we might see the continuation of the rising trend and that was a very very strong weekly divergence uh, another point which I would like to uh, show is the uh, TD sequential. During this rise we had many TD sequential 
um, nines or green nines or red nines and every time we had it there was actually a nice result in terms of the price action for example here I think it was a daily nine we had the correction it wasn't that uh, huge but just because it was the rising trend and on the strong rising trend the bearish signals they don't uh, give you that much of the profit but in any case here we have another uh, nine uh, green nine on a four days chart so here it was this uh, green nine and we had a massive drop and we are about to have another candle very soon so of course we need a confirmation with the second candle but currently we have the green nine on a four days by td sequential it is a very strong signal guys and maybe we are approaching the reversal point of this whole this move to the upside okay let's look at the on-chain data which I talked about in the beginning so uh, this is actually the report from Glassnode if you don't have this service you can log in for free with some restrictions and look at the data by yourself well first of all HODL waves if you're watching this channel for a while you probably know what HODL waves are and basically what the implication of the current situation is that during the last year the number of the bitcoins in circulation which didn't move during the last two years rose uh, from 32 to 42 percent so now 42 percent of all the circulation of bitcoin is not moving for for the recent two years it's very very long so hodlers are keeping their uh, coins without any move expecting for the price going to the moon and then they might uh, consider have some profits and another point very similar to that is that there is a so-called hodler net position change and you see uh, for example here when the price was very close to the local high around 14 12000 dollars we had this uh, net position change negative uh, and then uh, with every drop basically with every major drop we had the rise of this position and now after the price uh, low we had the maximum uh, point of this position change with it's a little bit alarming because it's still too low in terms of the uh, price from the bottom but still it is a kind of a positive signal from the general narrative of the traders and uh, investors for in Bitcoin out there and also we have the rise in number of Bitcoin addresses which um, active between one and three months and it started to rise from the point of the low again and technically you might say that this was also a kind of a capitulation point for people uh, trying to uh, play with a long uh, strategy on Bitcoin and now they're more optimistic and try to implement this, this position in their long-term strategy the number of the coins on the exchanges balances uh, dropped significantly so it actually rose uh, from pretty much from the lowest point of the current bear market in 2019 2018th actually and it rose until the beginning of 2020 and started to drop and of course it dropped a lot when we saw this um, lowest point at uh, 3800 or around that and now it means like well you might you might speculate that this is actually like whales accumulating at this point getting money from the uh, weak hands and now they are extracting those bitcoins into their uh, cold wallet and uh, basically they again will not expect for the price going lower than this point well again it's a, it's a kind of speculation but this is the data from the on-chain and of course the number of addresses also rose quite a lot totally 25 percent but not only for the big addresses but for the addresses with a small number of bitcoins as well which is kind of a positive thing although you may say that like huge addresses actually uh, split or mix their bitcoins between different addresses but in any case the uh, network is growing which is a positive thing as well and finally the number of the addresses with a balance of Bitcoin more than 1000 coins you see uh, before the previous halving event we had the rise of this number quite a lot actually and hold above a certain level for a while uh, close to the point of the all-time high at 20k we had the drop 
the decrease of this number and it was declining lower and lower until the lowest point in 2018 and then we start to see the rise again just uh, before the halving event again we see the kind of a increase of this number very similar to this one so technically we might say that this is on the way to the new uh, high in terms of the price as well but of course it doesn't give you like a hundred percent certainty or liability but you see what you have here you see that the uh, whales are actually accumulating so well maybe maybe this is the sign for the bottoming at the point of 3800 okay guys that is it for the um, on-chain data just want to conclude with this uh, chart about the indicator called hash ribbons which is basically representing the um, uh, moving average of the ha hash rate and at some point when we have the intersection of this hash rate in a certain way this area is called a capitulation uh, it was when the price dropped from six thousand to three thousand dollars in 2018 that was the same uh, when the price reached um, about sixty five thousand dollars in the end of 2019 and recently we had the situation again so every time when we had the buy signal from this indicator when we left this capitulation red zone the price actually moved quite a lot to the upside here it was 260 percent here it was 45 percent and now this uh, indicator also showed us buy signal well i don't say that this is a hundred percent correct buy signal here but you know uh, the statistics is not bad so far so it is kind of another piece in the puzzle uh, adding to the on-chain data and the general price action so that is it probably for today guys i will keep you updated uh, on the things happening with the price and uh, generally with the markets because i'm going to make another video on stocks and what is happening and what to expect because bitcoin is very very closely related to the um, uh, global economy and behavior of the traditional assets and so far i guess that is it for today i hope that it was useful and safe trading guys goodbye